Hey there, class. So uh, GPS Madness actually had an excellent suggestion for how to mine obsidian. So what I've done is I've sort of trained this water down here to this uh, body of lava. I've actually ended up bringing a lot more water than I would ever realistically need. Then I built sort of a wall uh, so that it wouldn't... Uh, well, it was supposed to be so that it wouldn't... <clears throat> spill out in the wrong direction, but of course, you know, it's, it's going to anyway. And then that just continuously re refills the obsidian that's made. So I'll give you a little demo of that. There's no music right now, because I was listening to the uh, the College Humor All-Nighter, which uh, is sort of on and off interesting tonight. It's not really the most exciting thing I've seen, unfortunately. Uh, there were some pretty interesting and funny stories earlier on, but... I think it's sort of gone a little bit downhill, but I think it'll come back. I've got Streeter on. He's one of the funnier guys. So, basic idea. You just go like this. And the obsidian regrows as if by magic, because the water continually uh, comes back. So it's pretty exciting, pretty amazing. And you can get a lot of obsidian this way. You can get basically as much obsidian as you have lava because the water stays contained. Excuse me, I'm just going to catch my breath. <clears throat> so, I mean, this isn't the most exciting episode, and also my... Oh, the FPS is terrible. Well, regardless, this is a very effective way of, of getting obsidian, which is a great way to get hellstone bars, which can be used for various things, like stuff and things. So, you know, if you're excited for Hellstone bars, you know, this is the technique for you. This is the bee's knees, or whatever other appendage of bees you find desirable. Yes, I know, I'm dying. I'll fix that in a second. Huh. Ah, problem solved. Yeah, so it's it's pretty simple. Pretty foolproof. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not exactly a genius at this game. But again, thanks to GPS Madness for the suggestion. Excellent suggestion. Makes good sense. Oh, there's even water just hanging out there, too. Anyway, I'm going to go... Do I even need to set up a wall, or is it going to be okay if I train the lake over this way? Hmm. may take a little bit, actually. Oh man, the frame rate is terrible. I think it's because I'm still streaming that thing in the background. Anyway, you get the basic idea of how this works. You, you bring the water down to where you want it to go. And it, uh, basically, you build a lake on top of the lava. And then it gets done. It's like magic. It's wonderful. It's, uh, it's fast. It's efficient. Unlike my frame rate right now, which is terrible. I don't know why, but I assume it's because of the... There we go. Let's see, eventually it's going to reach over there. Because there's a natural wall there. And after some time, the water is going to... Come on, don't make me look like an idiot. In front of the camera, guys. This worked moments ago. Okay, well, it's not working now, but it was working before. Uh, I think we just need maybe more water getting down there. Maybe? I don't know. Well, I assure you I had it working very well before, and it was awesome. There we go. See, now it works. And from there, we'll actually be able to dig our way over into that lava as well, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, but I'm going to off-screen that so that you don't need to watch it. But that's how you mine obsidian in this game. See you next time.